Hello. Um, just a quick, very, very, very quick pickups video. I've not bought much, so. And um, uh, I always intended to make my next video um, a continuation of my Q and A videos, but I'm uh, I'm struggling to get the uh, the prize for the the competition section together. So um, I'm. I don't know, it's naturally being put back. But I'm, and also I'm struggling to find time to sit down and do the, do sort of the big stints that I was intended to do, the sitting down, you know, doing, answering all those questions in one go. Because I'd quite like to do it like that, you know, just turn it into a bit of a, <laughs> bit of a session. But um, as it is to bridge the gap, I've got these, just these few uh, purchases. Uh, um, one of them is an eBay purchase, so it's just going through the post today. So I want to open that and get that out of the way. So I thought I'd just include um, the others in there with it. Um, one of them, one of them, I will need um, your assistance or somebody's assistance on one of these things I have bought because it's, I can't use it myself. And it's actually, I'll, actually, I'll, I'll explain I'll explain when I get to it. But um, there was something I wanted to say. can't remember what it is. Thanks to all my new subscribers, I, I, I've noticed that I don't say that enough. Although I always, always, I always try and thank people individually, but I, I don't say thank you on my videos enough. I've just noticed it and it's, you know, it's not really good enough, is it? So um, thank you to all my subscribers. Um, I hope you are uh, I hope you find that eventually that you eventually find that the sub is worthwhile, you know. And uh I'm you know, you're not forced to <laughs> not forced to unsub. You know. I'm wondering why did I ever sub that person? But um Right, uh Yeah, I'm gonna start off with these purchases. This is my uh eBay purchase. This is pretty low key. Um pretty low key a game. I'll, I'll do it first, you know, I'll, I'm not going to say it's not worth saving to the end to sort of, sort of build up, but um, it's pretty low key. It's a game that I had, I would never actually owned, I don't think I owned, but I know I rented it from Blockbuster and really enjoyed it. I think I might have even rented it twice. But it's a, it's a unique game, sort of game, it's quite, you know, specific. So it's, it's sort of interesting in that sense. Um, it's a Squaresoft game, so, you know, they're always nice to own, even if the games don't aren't always up to scratch. Um, what else? It's uh, sort of like a marrying of two genres, I think. It's, now that's although one of them, one of the genres it's supposed to be is a bit. It's a bit sort of. It doesn't instantly sort of hit you that it's that part one of those genres. I've not actually opened this yet. I've not had a look at it. I've just sort of taken off the. You know, thing to make it easier to to open. So um, the this cost me three pound no yeah three pound seventy five all in for three free postage. I ordered it on um, Sunday night, Sunday evening. For some reason, I got confirmation it had been posted on Sunday night. So I don't know how that works, considering it did have a post office label on it. So maybe someone's getting ahead of themselves. But I can't complain. It was three seventy five. So if I'd had to pay for postage, it, you know, it would have been, I would have been paying some maybe like two quid or something, two pounds, yeah, about two pounds postage. So three seventy five is about a pretty good price for this. I wouldn't pay much more for it, but it's it's um, it's an interesting game. I'll get it out. It, the uh, it's it's all complete, but the um, the auction said acceptable. It was a buy it now. It said acceptable condition. So you know. I'm not holding out too much hope that it's going to be brilliant, it's brilliant Nick, but it looks okay from this angle. And from this angle, I can already, already feel a crack on the back. It's toe barrel number one. Quite a big crack actually, I think I've got things I can replace that with, but it's toe barrel number one. And it looks pretty good for this from this condition, from this sort of direction. It's got one of those annoying um, old school cases that are quite difficult to replace. But see the big, big crack. Uh, Was it? Goes up to there. 
It looks okay from this direction. It's um, I never do this. I'll see if I can get on. Show you the. <laughs> it's an RPG, supposedly an RPG, crossed with a one-on-one -on -one fighter. And I'm trying to think back how it played. It's quite a basic one-on-one -on -one fighter. And by the, you know by the same process, quite a basic RPG, but quite an interesting marrying of two 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 um, genres. So I'm just going to have a look on the inside, see how it's shaping up. Looks like looks like there's some sort of something around the middle there. I can already see that the uh, some of the teeth are broken off the disc holder, which is annoying. The manual's pretty, it's got a few chewed corners, but I suppose that comes under the, it's okay otherwise. Uh, that, that'll do actually, I mean, it's not pristine by any stretch of the imagination, but it, it's, it, it's exactly what exactly what the guy said, it, it's, it's acceptable. So I'm not going to go over the top when I give him, you know, when I give him his uh, feedback, but and at the same time I've not, go, I've not got any rights I'm not really right to be pissed off. So that that'll do actually. That'll do me. I think. Although I will have to re replace some bits of the case. I'll put those and balance that. I'll get rid of that. So I can balance that there. Um, next, this is going straight through into CEX. But I thought I'd show it anyway. This was a um, a charity shop purchase for three pound fifty. It's Animal Crossing. Let's go to the city. There you go, three pound fifty. Um, I've never played an Animal Crossing game. I suppose I should give it a give it a go. I know the um, the GameCube version always had always had a decent reputation, and I should give it a go really before I, before I just ship it off to CX. But they'll give me ten pound credit for it, and I want to save up for a copy of. Um, a copy of Zelda, the what's it called, the GameCube Zelda game. So this will get this will get me ten pounds worth of credit towards that, and that goes for thirty two quid. So it's a nice sacrifice. I might, I might sort of take. It's quite a nice case. I might take that out, sort of take that out and swap it over one of my Mankey game, um, Mankey Wii ones. But it's all nicely there, all in nice condition. It was. Quite an interesting game to see, especially for that price in a charity shop. So I bagged it, bagged it quick. Um, so obviously only one of those is keepers. Actually, I forgot to mention a game that I bought in Steam. A game that I've just seen uh, TG Appleus and um, X Files 2708 done gameplay videos of. It's a, a shooter, um, a shmup called um, Jamestown, and it's. Um, a really, really nice, really nice shooter actually. Um, TG Appleus uh, let me know of um, a sale that was on Steam and uh, told me about this game, and I got it, this uh, shooter for three pound forty nine while it was on while it was on um, on sale, and I think it's about seven pounds now, six ninety nine, and it's it was definitely definitely worth it. I think it's still worth it now, even at six ninety nine. Um, it's uh, it's. By um, I think it's by a couple of couple of American American guys. It's yeah, it's an American developed game, even though it's obviously obviously pays homage homage to um, the sort of bullet hell shooters, the sort of cave shooters. It's got that sort of feel about it, but it's actually really good, and um, it's got all the sort of the, the standard things you get with games nowadays, like unlockables and um, you know uh, achievements and things like that. So it's 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 really worth it, and it's got this sort of a lunatic um, storyline. It's almost sort of like a, they've identified the loony storylines that you get with the sort of Japanese shmups and cave shooters and things like that, and sort of done their own sort of um, Americanized take on the sort of lunacy. It's to do with um, it features all these historical American figures like sort of yeah John Smith and um, people like that, and. Uh, but but transposes it to Mars. It's, 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 you have to sort of see it to to to, to get it. But they, they've got these 
the music's strange. It's um, sort of classical music. It's sort of American that that sort of War of Independence era or the um, uh, American Civil War era. That sort of classical music, and they 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 put it into this game, and it works really well. It's quite unique. But um, I you can use the mouse on it, which gets takes a bit of getting used to because sometimes the mouse movements are too quick for the too quick for the ship. You know. It doesn't sort of tran it doesn't um it doesn't transfer one to one onto the screen. But if your if your movements are small and um, precise, it almost it makes it easier. It, it, you know, if anything, because because of the accuracy of the mouse sort of translation. So it's actually you know, it's, it's a really good game, and um, there are five levels. I think um, one of them is unlockable, the last one's unlockable. You have to complete the first four on a legendary setting, which is the which is for the first three levels it's the third level setting. And I think the fourth level doesn't have an easy setting, doesn't have a normal setting. So you have you always have to do it, you have to complete each of the four on legendary, which is tough. It's pretty tough actually. But um I'm getting there, I'm getting there. But it's called Jamestown. I'll put a little I'll put the heading just so you know um, what to look for on Steam if you if you like the idea of it. But check out um, X Five Twenty Seven One Eight gameplay videos and TGF Plus gameplay videos of Jamestown because you'll you'll get an idea of what it's like. But it's um, highly recommended. Um, uh, another charity shop purchase and nice, quite a nice surprise actually, and um, in better condition than I thought it had been when I first bought it for one ninety nine. Breath of Fire Four. Um, this will be going straight on eBay, I'm afraid. Um, because I need, I've realised that I, I do need to, uh, um, I do need the money, really. <laughs> um, although, uh, broken hinge, um, slightly worn, slightly worn manual, but nothing, sort of, nothing really bad. Sort of slight fold in it, crease, and a slightly worn spine, but just really, really minor. And uh, one of my favourite PS1 RPGs, actually. Artwork's brilliant, and it's a long, long game. It's got a nice variation in gameplay, so really, really worth it. And for one ninety nine, uh, it was another. Didn't have any cash and had to leg it to the bank to get some money out, hoping that no one nipped in there before me. But um, it's a quite a nice buy that one. And finally, this is one I need the uh, the help with. Um, uh, I went to Cash Converters in in Edmonton. And I was looking to buy um, Dirge of Cerberus for one ninety nine. I took it to the counter. The guy opened it up and um, went to look for the disc. Came back and said, "Sorry, uh, looks like someone's nicked the disc because we've started putting out games onto the shelves with the discs in." Well, if you, if anybody knows Edmonton, North London, uh, you know you wouldn't be surprised when that happens. <laughs> so you would have thought that these people, that they, the, the cash converters people, would learn, but they obviously haven't. So um, I only actually had two pound cash on me, and I was slightly annoyed. And I suppose I should have bought this in the first place because it's a lot better, a lot better value. And it's uh, Super Metroid, Super Metroid on the Super Nintendo, and really nice nick, really nice nick. Um, they had they had a lot of other uh, a lot of other SNES games. Um, they had Super Mario World. They had um, Super Mario Kart. They had Killer Instinct, but not having a SNES, this is where my problem comes from, not having a SNES, it seemed ridiculous to buy those games, obviously I couldn't, couldn't, uh, couldn't play them, so obviously this will be going onto eBay, because I can't really afford yet to buy a SNES to be able to play it on, so this is going to have to go onto eBay, and this is where I need the help, because um, I need to test it, but not having a SNES, I've got no way to test it. Um, I'm hoping. Could anyone tell me that this, this will have um, a save battery in it, won't it? That we'll need. Obviously, I'll need to test that it's still working. Because I, I want to be able to list it accurately. I don't want to just take a punt, hoping that it works, and then wait for any comeback if it doesn't. But um, so I'll, I will have to ask someone's help. If I send it to whoever you know to send it to someone, and they can test it tell me if it all, it's all working, all, all okay, and then send it back, then I'll be really grateful. But, um, 
it's in really, really nice nick actually, so I wouldn't be surprised if it if it was working 100%. Uh, yeah, it all looks pretty good. So that was 199 Super Metroid. I would like to keep it, but like I said, I can't afford I can't quite afford to buy um, a SNES yet to be able to play it on. And it's you know it's be a bit ridiculous to buy a SNES to be able to test it, because if I did buy a SNES to be able to test it, I might as well keep it. But it does, does have to be sold, I'm afraid. So, so I'll be contacting someone in order to uh, ask them to test it for me. So, that's Super Metroid. One sneeze. That's it. That's it. A nice shortish 15 minute video. Um, yeah, the uh, continuation of the Q&A videos is is coming up. <laughs> Definitely coming up. I'm gonna find myself a little. Uh, a little window of, you know, multi, sort of three hour window and just sit there and just hammer the shit sort of get into it. I might even get a little picnic and like, like I mentioned, you know, have a sort of like a little beer fridge or something and just in the background and sit back and maybe get like a, see if I can get a comfy seat from somewhere and we can all sit down and, you know, just have like a, you can all sit and listen to me talk bullshit. <laughs> And then, um, and then after that, it will be the competition section. Exciting, but that's all up here. That the idea is there. The idea is there. It just needs to be put into practice and all the bits uh, assembled. So, coming up to um, 17 minutes, I'm going to cut it off here. Thanks for watching, and uh, um, I'll be contacting someone pretty soon about help for this. So, see you a lot later. Thanks for watching, and uh, thanks to all my new subs. Bye for now.